Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have an awesome humble bundle for Godot developers. Now the regulars among you may have actually already caught my socials on this one, that it is out there, and then I said, hold on a minute, because there is a problem with this one. So I didn't bother putting the video out until I could confirm that it worked, because they had a linking problem when this first went live. Thankfully, that appears to be fixed, and if you already bought it, I will show you how to go about resolving that later on. So I'm never going to advertise a bundle on here that I know doesn't work. I'm also not advertising bundles that I think are crap, uh, that are made of AI slop and that kind of stuff. So if you're wondering, hey, why didn't this bundle get covered yet? Well, it'll be covered eventually if I think it's on topic and you should look at it. If I think it's crap, I don't cover it. By the way, so this one is organized into tiers. You got the highest value tier here, which is $30 USD. You're getting 27 assets in this pack. The $1 tier, you're getting four assets there. Um, many of them are light, which is like super low polygon. Uh, and then your median price tier, you're getting a total of 13 items. But generally, you either buy this tier or this tier. You're getting a lot of cool assets here. They may actually look familiar to you regulars uh, because we've actually had these exact same assets in a previous Humble Bundle. Thing is, they were for Unity and Unreal Engine. Pretty much the same contents, more or less. Uh, I, I don't know if it's exactly the same contents, but it is pretty close. So we did have this bundle featured back in 2023. The thing is, this they've all been converted over to run in Godot. Before, you would have had to have loaded up Unreal Engine or Unity and do the conversion yourself. And for the most part, the conversion seems to be have done pretty well. I will show you exactly how they work in just a minute when we go hands-on with a couple of them. But you can see here, you're getting stuff like uh, environment survival stuff, crafting, camping, props. Uh, and then we got things like furniture, cities, uh, farming, wild west town, another town or city environment, uh, forest environments, and so on. So you're getting a good selection of assets here. Again, all in a very consistent style. I do think you could mesh this style in with like Sinti and other low polygon styles. And the one nice thing about low poly is you can generally extend them or modify them yourself and have something that looks pretty good without necessarily looking all asset flippy. All right, so that is the bundle itself. Uh, again, it was done before. The way it works, you redeem it on the Anempic store. This is the link that was broken. Uh, it has been fixed now for people. Uh, so if you go ahead, it should work now. If you bought this before they fixed it, just head on down here to the chat, say my link doesn't work, and they will fix it for you. And then you'll be able to download it here. It comes down as a three gigabyte file containing all the assets. I'll show you that in just a second. And in terms of the license, so far, again, I'm not your lawyer, uh, but the license seems pretty straightforward in terms of what it allows you to do. Uh, one thing you're going to want to be aware of, there are two limitations on it. You cannot use your assets for creating NFTs or blockchain-based products, and you cannot use them to create metaverse-related or game creation software and products. So that is not games. That is like, you can't bundle them in as assets in your own game. So if you made something like, um, game Guru. You couldn't bundle these assets in with Game Guru and sell them that way. So I, I honestly think that from what I've read of the license, it's pretty straightforward and the, the limitations are quite reasonable. All right, so let's go take a look at what these look like. This is one of the assets right now. Uh, this is the uh, New York City uh, asset one of the demo levels for it. So you get an idea, They've this is the art style for it. It's generated as um, a Godot project. So you see over here, you've got a world environment set up for you. I don't always like the choices they made. So for example, I might come in here, change the tone mapping over to Filmic. And then I think it looks better, but there is an environment set up for you. Uh, you've got collisions or colliders set up on all of the objects where it makes sense. In other versions of this, uh, so here you can see you have lighting set up. So we got a nighttime version of it there. You can see the lighting has been set up in place there. So uh, it's it's converted over. It is very Godot-esque in nature. Uh, in terms of materials, everything is pretty simple. So it does create materials you see right over here, but the materials applied to things like objects like this, uh, your material is generally quite simple, including more or less uh, just an Elbido channel and a UV map. That's for some reason, uh, UV only, so the Z is zeroed out. But other than that, um, it, the, the materials are pretty simple. It's the same thing that um, Sinti does that as well. So this was one of the assets. This is the uh, New York asset. I'll give you a couple look at a couple of the other ones. You get an idea of the kind of things that you are getting here. Oh, and by the way, all of these things come down. So you can notice from this file hierarchy, uh, we've got prefabs. So here we've got the models. The models are all in GLTF format. Uh, so you could import those into uh, Blender or whatever content creation tool supports GLTF, and you are good to go. Uh, they are also being presented as prefabs, which are set up as uh, Godot scenes. So you can see over here, all of the things here are prefabs, ready to drop in. So if you got, need a sidewalk piece, there is a sidewalk. 
Uh, if you need uh, street decoration, there is street decoration and so on. I'll show you this again in just a second. So let's go quit out of here. So back to the project list. Uh, we won't save my massacre. All right, so here we go. Back to the project list. I've opened up a bunch of these, so I'll give you a quick look at a couple of them. Uh, there's just straightforward Godot projects, so you literally just open them up and open them up and import them into your project. So let's go check out the uh, Mega City Pack. This one's actually quite large, so you can see here. Um, again, they've all been imported before, so this should be pretty quick. But I'll pause while it loads. All right, so here we are in the Mega City Pack. One thing I've noticed with all of these assets, and I don't really understand it is they're not centered at zero, zero for some reason. So you see over here, there is the main demo map and it's like way off in the, uh, in the boons for some reason. So we're just gonna go ahead, we'll, we'll grab something, snap to it. All right, there you go. So you get an idea. This is one of the levels. This is a racetrack in the mega city environment. So again, uh, racetrack environment, of course set up. So obviously you're getting the pieces needed to make these tracks and so on. Uh, so like you see right there, you can slice them all together to make multiple different kinds of tracks. You got trees, you got grandstands and so on. You got a variety of different cars. Once again, everything is available. So you see here, all the prefabs are organized into categories. So you've got things here like your airport category, your buildings, your fencing, your racetrack pieces and so on. So let's say I needed to bring a car. Here is a car. I grab a car, bring in my ambulance. There you go. Bring in a police car. There you go. Uh, various different vehicles can be brought in accordingly. So it's super simple to get up and going with this guy. This is one demo. Uh, we also have like the, let's go check out like the, the massive city environment itself. So we'll switch over to that one. And here you see it. Yeah, let's get rid of the environment here. And you get an idea of all of these things and how they work together. So again, everything's been set up. You've got various different cameras in the world to check out. Uh, you've got all the lighting set up. You do have uh, a world environment. Once again, I don't necessarily always love the world environment choices they went with. Sometimes the sky is a little bit weird or the lighting is a little bit different or uh, I would rather have global illumination turned on or the one thing I normally always change though is I like the uh, either filmic erases as my um, preferred rendering mode. But again, it's all set up for you. So you can just tweak it to your heart's content. You can see here, these city environments are huge. You got a lot of things going on. Now there are some areas where I've noticed some weird baking to the textures. Just one of those things to be aware of. But for the most part, the conversions seem to work quite well. Everything is ready to go. And again, all prefabs ready to drop. And then you generally have multiple different scenes to demonstrate these environments. So these assets were clearly authored for Unreal Engine or Unity first and then converted over to Godot. But I do think the conversion job that they have done has been reasonable. And let's look at one last one. Uh, so I won't save my, my changes here or to the racetrack. And uh, we'll bring up the, uh, the car environment. Oh, sorry, the, the weapons environment. So you get an idea of what assets are like. So I already loaded that in. Here is the weapons mega kit. And once again, you load in and you're like, uh, where is it? Oh, over there. Uh, so you can see an example of the various different things here. So you got a variety of different guns and gun accessories, kits, clips, bullets, and then cases and so on, all available over here. And then you have different displays of said guns available over here. And off you go. So these are using the demo scenes, but you can literally just drop the, uh, grab from the assets folder in the pieces that you want. So if you just wanted the models, again, they're available here. They will all be available as uh, GLTF files. You can bring them in that way. And then they've also been created as ready to go prefabs like so. So if you want to bring in an ammo box, you bring in an ammo box, you want to bring in a rifle, boom, you bring in a rifle. And that's well, a modular rifle. So that's a bit of one. Uh, so you do have all the pieces to work with, gun magazine and so on. So it's a nice package to work with. Everything is is clean. The imports all seem to be pretty well done. Uh, so I, I'm impressed with what they've done. And I'd like to see people offering Godot content like this. Now in terms of what you get, it does come down as one big zip. Here I have extracted it out. So inside of that zip, you're getting a bunch of different folders. Inside of those folders, again, you get a Godot project that you can open up. By the way, you don't need to use the Godot project. You literally just go into the assets, find the assets you want, and just drop them into your project. You do have textures, you have Godot created materials, and then you have the models like so. These are the raw forms of the models. So generally these are the GLTFs. 
and the, the, the bin file to go along with GLTF. So if you want to open them up into Blender, you do it that way. And then if you want to use it directly inside of Godot, you have them already imported as prefabs. So here you can see .cn forms of all these prefabs that are just ready to basically drag and drop into your own environment. So I think they've done a good job of this one. Uh, so once they got that initial hiccup of the, the link not working fixed, uh, that took them like a little bit over a day and a half to get that one resolved, it does seem like everything is good to go now. And you saw it as, as it is. I actually, I think it's a solid bundle. It's nice to see, again, Godot-focused assets, um, you know, obviously they, they started life for other engines. I want to see more and more people do this. It's low poly stuff. It's pretty static. So converting the stuff over isn't that challenging. And you could have bought the previous kit with Unity or Unreal Engine and done the conversion yourself. I've shown you a lot of guides on how to convert between assets. But this way, you don't have to do it. Someone's done all of the work for you. And I think there's definitely value in that. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the bundle. It is the, what is this thing actually called? The Godot 4 Mega Polygon Assets Bundle. Oh, I should point out, actually, these were all actually created in literally uh, Godot 4. So when you import these projects in, if you're using Godot 4.3 or 4.4 or whatever, it will convert it up. Just one of those things to be aware of. So uh, I think it's a nice little bundle, but I'm curious, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.